Well, Fairchild was founded in uh, September of 1957 by it would the leadership of Dr. Noyce, but actually he was more of a follower than the leader because they had recruited, they decided, the majority of the employees, the key technical employees, they decided to leave Shockley. And they didn't have a leader, so they went to raise money and couldn't find any because none of the people who were involved, the treacherous seven, uh, couldn't find a leader. So they told them to go back and find a leader, and they finally convinced Noyce, who did not want to leave initially, to become the first head of their, their team. So Fairchild put up all the money to start the company. However, they named three positions that Fairchild named. One was Larry Lancet, who was the CFO equivalent. He was called the accounting manager. The other was uh, the president or general manager who hadn't even showed up yet. His name was Ed Baldwin. And the third was the marketing and sales executive who was a former employee of Fairchild Camera, Thomas Bay. And they were the, the three employees. Well, they had a hard time finding a general manager to take the job. And they finally convinced Baldwin to join them after several months. And uh, he came in 1954. And they all got paid the same amount of money. There was a, a grant to them. They all had different salaries, but they had a different s schedule where they each got a share of the company. And those sh each one share to each person. So when Baldwin showed up, he thought since he was the general manager, he should get more than one share. But uh, Fairchild didn't agree with that, so he didn't. He ended up with nothing. So he didn't get anything. Now later in life, these shares during those years that they were still at Fairchild, they started selling partial interests, and uh, so the shares ended up when they finally paid them off. They all didn't get the same amount of money. Gene Kleiner apparently had much, later became a venture capitalist, uh, used to loan money to the employees for part of their shares and ended up with quite a few, much bigger amount. So that's how they got started and uh, the company started making transistors. They made the Mesa transistor, that was their first product. And that transistor was what they were selling. Their first customer was IBM. Now IBM, was a touchy spot for Sherman Fairchild because his father was the founder of IBM. George uh, Fairchild was the founder of IBM and the first chairman. And uh, so he didn't want to have too close a relationship with IBM since he was their largest stockholder and on their board for 46 years. <laughs>